Good morning. The book of Hebrews, chapter number seven. And verse number 17. Hebrew chapter number 7 and verse number 17. Hallelujah. We better start with verse 14. We, I, we, we, uh, let, me, let, me, let me hear verse 17, then we'll come back. For he testified, Thou art a priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. For there is verily a disannulling of the commandment going before for the weakness and the unprofitableness thereof. For the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of a better hope did, by the which we draw nigh to God. For in so much and not without the hope, he was made priest. For those priests were made without an hope, but this with an oath by him that said unto him, the Lord swear it would not repent. Thou art a priest forever. After the order of Melchizedek, by so much was Jesus made a, a surety of a better testament. And they truly, truly were many priests because they were not suffered to continue by reading the death. But this man. Because he continued with ever, had an unchangeable priesthood. The priest we just read about in Hebrew chapter 7, that priest is Jesus Christ. He's made a priest forever. You're not going to be taught this in your church. Jesus Christ is the priest. Your pastor is not the priest. If your pastor say he is the priest, your pastor have committed abomination and put himself above Jesus Christ. Your pastor is not the priest. Christ is the priest forever. Your pastor is not the priest. These, let God be true and bear every man alive. Those that have this knowledge, and if you don't have it, God knows you will have it. God ain't going to have you ignorant. Those that have this knowledge and you turn around and say your pastor is the priest. Why do you say your pastor is the priest? I saw a pastor Sunday on Facebook and the uh, elder trying to uh, trying to teach on tithing. You know the priest is what off with your tithing. You gave your took your tithing to the priest and the priest offered it to God. And the offering. So this preacher said, well, the pastor is the priest because we bring our tithes to the pastor. You are not a priest. If you say you are a priest, you have put yourself above Jesus. 
you are a antichrist. The peace off with your tithe and your offerings. Now let's see what Jesus offered. <laughs> Let me drink a little, a, a little taste of coffee. Let's see what Jesus offered. We still in the same chapter. In verse 24, this man, because he continued with them, had an unchangeable priesthood. Ain't no more priest coming out of him because he ain't died. Wherefore, he's able also to save them to the other boats that God, that come to God by him. Seeing he living, he ever living to make intercession for them. For such a high priest became us who is holy, blameless, undefiled, separate from sinners, made higher than the heaven, who needed not daily as those priests to offer up sacrifices, pray for his own sin. You say your pastor priest, did you offer sacrifice for your sin, pastor? You're a hypocrite. And then for the people, for this he did once, where he offered himself. That's the offer himself. Jesus Christ offered himself. For the law making men high priest, which have been fragmented. But the word of old, which will assist the law, make the son who is consecrated forevermore. Now of these things which we have spoken, this is the song. Here's the conclusion. We have such a high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne of majesty in the heavens, a minister of the sanctuary, and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched, pitched and not man. For every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices, Whereas uh, it is of the sense that this man has someone to offer also. So what did Jesus offer? For if he were on earth, he should not be a priest if he was on earth. Seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law. They ain't operate according to the law. We serve, who serve as an example, a shadow of heavenly thing, and Moses was in minds of God that he was about to make a tabernacle. For see, said he, that thou make all things according to the pattern shown to thee in the mount. But now hath he obtained a more excellent ministry. By how much he is the mediator of a better covenant which was established upon better promise. For if that first covenant had been faultless, that should no place have been sought for the second. But find the fault with them. He said, Behold, the days come, said the Lord. I'll make a new covenant with the house of Israel and, and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their father. In the day that I took them by the hand and led them out of the land of Edom, because they continued not in my covenant, and I regarded them not, said the Lord. Now that's eight chapter, and we read on down to verse nine. Now back to seven. Go to eleven. If perfected by the Levitical priesthood, you know it when you brought the tithes and y'all. For hardly did the people receive the law, what for the need was there for another priest to ride after all the male telling day and not after the order of Aaron. 
for the preacher of being trained is also made under sense also the chains of the law. For he who these things are spoken pertaining to another tribe, which no man gave attendance at the altar. Jesus ain't at no altar receiving your time. Matter of fact, Jesus said that hallelujah, he will have mercy and not sacrifice. You ain't bringing Jesus nothing. The 10th chapter, it said God have no pleasure in your offering and your sacrifices. For your sin. Somebody said, well, Ty Lowry won for your sin. You don't know about what you're talking. This is the same chapter we talk about. This talk about tithes and offering. Let back up. Stay, stay, stay in the same chapter. If therefore perfection was by the Levitical priesthood, what for the need for another right? And that other is Jesus. You're not a priest. Your pastor is not a priest. The church of God in Christ, false prophets. Yes, you in the church of God in Christ. You that teach that, teach tithe and offering, and the pastor is a priest. I've seen the pastor say, I'm the priest, so I'm going to take your time. You to put yourself above Jesus. You ain't no priest. Jesus is the priest. You're false. Some of you know the truth. But you continue to, the, the clown I saw Sunday, he know the truth. I talk with him. I lay the scripture out. And he agreed with it. Now he done backslid and gone back to preach the tithe and offer. And saying that the, the pastor is the priest. You done put yourself above God. You done put yourself above Jesus Christ. Jesus is the priest. Jesus is the priest. You ain't offering nothing to you ain't offering nothing to Jesus. Nothing. You ain't offering nothing to Jesus. Nothing. You ain't bringing Jesus no tithe at all. Tell a lie. You are false prophet. You in the church of God in Christ and Baptist and apostolic faith and Methodist and all the other. You are false prophet. You know, some of y'all know the truth, but you continue to preach error. You are false prophet. You are false. You go in the hell. You know the truth. Some of you that ain't pastor, you know the truth. But you continue, you continue to, to just, 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 just let that fault probably go on. You don't say nothing. You going to hell right with it. You at least, at least I'll speak again for the truth. You're false. You're false. In the 10th chapter, sacrifice and offering thou would it not, but a body thou hast prepared for me. 10th chapter, Hebrew. Also in the 10th chapter, those things could never take away your sin. Yes, they were for your sin. The same thing that your same uh, uh, thing consists of tithing and offering. Those same things, hallelujah, were given to the priest and offered to God. Yeah, the, the same thing, the same, your, your, your tipper, your sheep and all that kind of stuff, and clean beast and clean animal, those same things were offered to God, were burned and offered to God. Yes, in the priest you some up, y'all try, try, try to teach the law. And don't even know what you affirm. You don't know about what you talking. Praise the Lord. The Bible right. I'm a messenger of Jesus Christ. I'm a servant of Jesus Christ. 
Let God be true and every man a liar. The church of God in Christ liars. Baptist, apostolic, episcopal, whoever. And some of y'all know better. I know a church, by God, they knew the truth, but somebody convinced the pastor to start taking time. And when the pastor saw all that money coming in, now that whole group backslid. I'm not saying anybody, you know, God still have a rim, but as a whole, that whole organization backslid. I'm not talking about church God right now. But that whole organization backslid and went to preach the time. But they were preaching the truth. I know Mills that I could, I'm not going to call your name. Somebody came and told me they know the truth and they preach the truth about time. You're false. You are false. You are a false prophet. Say your pastor is the priest. So bring him your time. You are a false prophet. Then, well, tired it was before the law. Look at the trial to be slick. Tired of, if it would, look, look, here's our dumb, y'all. Even if it would before the law, it's still not required now. Dummy. I gave you scripture. Your pastor ain't no priest. He done committed abomination to get some tithing. He done committed abomination and put himself above Jesus. Jesus says, psychic rise and offer thou wouldest not. But you say, right, you, you, your psychic rise and offer with your tithing and offer. It first you all that. But a body thou have prepared for me. Yeah, he had no plan to burn off the sacrifice for sin. Read the 10th chapter of Hebrew. Then read 9 and 8 and 7, 6 and 5 and 4 chapters. You say you're a priest. You say your pastor a priest. You are a liar. You are a false prophet. You have put yourself above Jesus. Thank you for it. I'm a servant of Jesus Christ. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to do my job. Your blood ain't going to be on my head. Your church God Christ pastor going to hell. Bishop presiding bishop. Apostolic faith. Baptist. Methodist. Whatever you are, you're going to hell. You are a false prophet. You didn't know the truth. If you don't know it, you're going to know it. Thank you for being. Say the pastor is a priest. So he received your time. That's an abomination. You are a false prophet. You fell from grace. Galatians chapter 5. Galatians chapter 2. You ain't saved. You know the truth. You ain't saved. Thank you for it.